Canadians know Brad Smith as the man who set hearts aflutter on the inaugural <laughs> season of The Bachelor Canada. It's true. But today, BT viewers will get to know him as our co-host for the morning. And that, of course, his lovely bride-to-be, Bianca. You have a, a light in your eyes when you look at her. You saw that, eh? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's so weird to see this play back because we were even talking uh, yesterday. It's like, we don't think of our relationship as ever starting on a, sh a show because it's like so natural. Mm -hmm. And when you know people meet us or see us in public, they really give us that like two minutes of like, a, is it real? And then after two minutes, they're like, okay, if they're either the best actors ever or they actually <laughs> like each other. So it's the real deal. We're Let's, the best actors ever. No, no <laughs> I, I, I can tell. And you just looking at that at her on screen, yeah. you lit up. Let's backtrack a little bit. Could you ever have foreseen that you would be the first? Canadian Bachelor. No, that's the funny thing. Uh, even during the audition process, um, they found me randomly through a buddy of mine who, right. who passed a girl on the street and gave her my email address and said, I have the best guy for you. And I was like, <laughs> good lie at the time, but the audition process, I said a lot of stuff that I I didn't think that I would get picked hmm. because they're like, do you think you're here to find your wife? I'm like, no, God no. Because I'd seen the other ones and they hadn't worked, so I wanted to be realistic. I was like, if you pick me, I'll go on, I'll try my best, but I'm not gonna sit there and promise you anything and, and sit there the entire time and say, she's here, I, you know, and, and about four weeks into it, that's, it started happening because I met Bianca. Yeah. Okay, so was there sort of a process where you actually decided? I mean, d did you decide right away that this is something you wanted to do, or did it take a little oh, bit? God. I know the support of your family also meant a lot. Of course. You. This is going to sound uh, like it's a totally prepared answer, but I actually called my best friend two days before uh, they flew me out to start filming, and I said, I, I think I'm going to back out. And he goes, why? I said, I, I just don't think I'm good enough for the girls. I mean, they're expecting this the Bachelor comes with this kind of connotation that you're this unbelievable package, and, I, and I'm just a pretty normal average dude, and, and um, I was really worried that I would get there, the girls would see me and be like, uh, excuse me, sir, can you please take me back to the airport, you know? So I, it, it was kind of uncomfortable at first, but I, once I got in there and got comfortable with it, it was, it was really kind of the most unbelievable experience. And did you actually get comfortable with it? I mean, there's, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I, I've been on a reality show, yeah. there's, there are cameras on you all the time. Yeah. Uh, watching, I actually watched that one, by the way. Watching oh, these yeah. particularly in, intimate moments in your life, is there a point where you kind of forget that they're there and just live your life? I've said this to everybody. If you can get past the first night on that show, you can do anything in front of a camera for the rest of your life. I mean, I could take off my clothes and dance in the back right now and not be embarrassed. <laughs> Wait a minute. Uh, yeah, that's a different show. <laughs> but, but honestly, um, they say the word journey, and I always made fun of people for it being cheesy. But the actual fact is, is that not only is it for you and the girls, it's for the cameramen, the producers, the lighting, the sound guys. Like they see everything that goes on as well, and they become your friends. So when you're doing, you know, when you're kissing a girl or you're having an intimate date, it's 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 weird to say like it, you would be doing it in front of your friends, but you don't feel uncomfortable because you've gotten to know everybody, and everyone wants is pushing for the same thing that you are. What an incredible experience! It's, I'm, it's I'm, weird. I'm, I'm going to tell you that. Oh, it's, I can only imagine. I'm really glad you're here with us for the whole oh, morning. Thank because you. I'm so glad to be here. There's lots more to reveal, uh, and the reason that Brad is here at the Calgary Women's Show at the BMO Center tomorrow from 10 to 6, and Sunday from 11 to 5. You will be there with Bianca. Yes, yeah, she's flying in as we speak. So uh, the Calgary Women's Show uh, at the BMO Center, they gratefully asked me to, to be here, to be on center stage, and I said, great, now all I have to do is know something about women. What are you gonna, well, <laughs> you know a lot, you know a thing or two no. about a thing or two about women. No. What are you, what are you gonna be doing? What are you gonna be um, speaking about? Actually, we're gonna do a 45 minute Q&A on, on stage, and um, you know, I've done a couple of these around Canada, and they're always great. Uh, fans come up with the craziest, kind of questions that uh, that they love to hear, the stuff that you wouldn't be able to mm -hmm. get from regular interviews. And, um, and you get to see Bianca, which is the highlight for everybody because she's so much different off camera than she is uh, on camera because to put up with me for 24 hours <laughs> might be, you might have to be the most tolerant person in the world. Well, thankfully we have another couple of hours. Bachelor Canada's Brad Smith joining us for the duration. Lots more question and answers still. Bachelor to Canada's Brad Smith, our very special guest host all throughout the morning. Um, and we get to, we also, we're not just putting you to work. We get to learn a little bit about you. Let's sort of pick up where we left off. Now, you and Bianca going strong. But I chugging want, away. Chugging away, uh, madly in love. But I want to know about your life post-show. Right. Do people think that they know you well? Yeah, and they have the right to because uh, we did something that was very, you know, uh, 
private, but we put it on TV. So it's, you know, when people come up to us, one of the things they always say is like, we feel like we know you. And I'm like, I feel like I just <laughs> met you, you know? It's, so it's, it's, it's a really unique experience, but something that I can honestly say out of the thousands of people we've met, we've really had no negative feedback and everyone's just excited to, to get to see us in person. I mean, I know like being on a show like this where you're in people's living rooms or kitchens or whatever every morning, it's sort of an honor to, to yes. have played that role in their lives. Do you feel that way? Um, you know what? I, I feel like it, it's something that is so unique to the experience that everyone gets so excited when The Bachelor comes on, whether it's in the States and everyone got excited for Bachelor Canada. So for me, um, I think the outcome makes it better for, for not only me but for everybody else because it's an actual real relationship that people can look at and be like, you know what, not only did this show come off real, but, but you know, Brad and Bianca come off real as well, and that's, that's the most important thing to me. And real life hit immediately following the show. Yeah. Uh, so you guys were separated until the show ended? Is that uh, how it worked? Six, almost six months. Yeah. Wow, okay, so but, then what? But we had, luckily enough, the production staff and, and the people at Rogers were great enough to give us little uh, vacations in the middle. So we had, we got to see each other and develop our relationship and so it wasn't just like, uh, get engaged and uh, <laughs> see you in five months, you know? It's, so it was, it was we, we, they, they really facilitated and produced the relationship in the in-between process. Now we have a mutual friend uh, in Toronto who said, <laughs> ask Brad about the fight that he and Bianca had about a cleanse. Oh God, yeah, that's <laughs> Dean. I was trying to tell you that about the avocado. We're, we wanted to go on a cleanse because we'd been eating just terribly. Me and B just love bad food and, and we'd been on like a McDonald's, Harvey's, Wendy's binge. So we were like, okay, we're gonna do this cleanse. So five days into the cleanse, what do you do when you're on a cleanse? You're just the most ignorant, <laughs> angry, right. uh, easily eruptable person ever. And uh, we're sitting there and I'm making her salad and she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, I'm making a lunch, just chill out, we'll do this. And she's like, <laughs> she's backseat driving the whole time. And she's like, you're overcooking the salmon. Don't put a lot of radish on, I don't want radish. And then, she, then it gets to the avocado part and she's like, I don't want a lot of avocado. I'm like, I'm making the food leave me alone <laughs> so but that's what makes it real you know that's out and if that's, i literally that's, erupted though i was like you're the worst person ever i'm going upstairs five minutes later i learned how to, what my dad taught me the best i came downstairs i'm like i'm so sorry for uh, raising my voice oh see i hear the collective awe around calgary right now no, the, Listen, the collective what a loser no if that's the most explosive fight you have then you're you're in uh, very good stead no we have fights that are bad but <laughs> You know. But you're doing well. Exactly. Uh, now, Brad and Bianca in town for the Calgary Women's Show. It's at the BMO Center tomorrow from 10 to 6, Sunday from 11 to 5. And we have a giveaway for you this morning, a VIP lifetime membership to LifeMates. It comes with a private consultation with a personal relationship consultant. Unlimited matches, by the way. It's a prize worth several thousand dollars. All you have to do, head to breakfasttelevision.ca, click on contest, scroll down to daily prizes to enter. The 75th person will win. Please tell us you're entering for this particular prize. No purchase necessary. Full rules at breakfasttelevision.ca. That's a great gift. It is a great gift. Jeez. You know what? We talked to a, to a relationship, a matchmaker. She said lots of singles in, in this city in particular because people are so busy. Really? Yeah. Oh. Ah. Maybe I could be one of the matchmakers. <laughs> you should try that on for size. I think that might be my next career. Uh, Bachelor Canada's Brad Smith is joining us all throughout the morning here on Breakfast Good Television. Bachelor Canada's Brad Smith in town for the Calgary Women's Show, but spending the entire morning with us here on BT it has been actually quite a lot of fun with you. Oh, like a total you. blast. I was aiming to disappoint, but anything no, above no. that would have been no. just good. You know? No, it's, it's been a lot of fun. I, I do want to do a reenactment because when we first met, oh, this is great. encountered each other, you know, you I, I feel like I know you because socially, social media, social has media, us and from, from the television, so we kind of approach each other. I go to shake, you go to hug, and, and I was like, and then I go to hug, and like you go that. to shake. And, and then I just I kind of turned her around and just did the football. Good game, buddy. You pat me on the bum. <laughs> So that was our first encounter. I reverted back to the primal uh, football stages of my life. You know what? Neither of us did the, the double kiss, though. That's weird. Yeah, seeing how we're both born in Montreal. I know. But anyway, we're... we're I didn't uh, want to get lipstick all over me. <laughs> We've gotten to know each other pretty well throughout the course of the morning. But lots more questions to ask. Everybody wants to know about the wedding. You and Bianca are engaged. Yeah. When are you getting married? Um, you know, we were going to rush it. Actually, off the show, we had a two-week vacation. Um, you know, that kind of, are we going to make it? And three days into that, we actually tried to get a uh, We actually tried to elope. 
and uh, we, I, she's Croatian and there's a lot of stuff that you have to do in order to get married so I didn't want to be disrespectful to her parents so I, we kind of put that on hold but funny enough story our first venue was going to be at my old high school uh, St. Andrews College is beautiful kind of Victorian private school and uh, they called me and they said Brad I don't think we can do it we have construction during that time you know you can offset the cost though and I was like okay what's the cost a hundred and fifty and I was like yeah oh. maybe in my next life uh, wow. or when I win 649 so we're, we're currently looking for a venue but uh, probably next June is what we're aiming for. Pro and will you be, are our TV cameras going to be there? I mean I know you know, you know there is a precedent for that. Yeah the there world. is a precedent for it. Um, we're not going to say no, we'd never say never, um, but we do love to have our private life mm -hmm. and our public life. Um, if we can merge the two, we'd love to, but for right now, I think we're just going to try to go ahead on our own and do it. And if, you know, it also depends on if people actually do want to see it, because if there's a demand, then it's something we would think about for sure, because we met on TV, why not, uh, why not get hitched on TV too? Well, this is just the tip of the iceberg. There's so much more to know about you guys. We do want to give somebody that opportunity. Um, the 31st annual Calgary Women's Show is this weekend. Uh, it's at the BMO Center. This always entertaining event has lots of great shopping deals, beauty and fashion, lots of free swag. Swag. swag, swag, plus over $25,000 in prizes, and let's not forget the celebs. YNR's leading man, Eric Braden. You oh, know him as Victor Newman. Of course I do. And I Canada's... Call him New, Vicky New, because I know him better. <laughs> Vicky New. Uh, Canada's bachelor, <laughs> former bachelor, Brad Smith, his fiance Bianca, will be there. If you want to meet the happy couple for your chance to win a pair of VIP tickets to the show that includes the meet and greet with Brad and Bianca, uh, all you have to do is head to breakfasttelevision.ca, uh, find the Women's Show tab to enter, no purchase necessary, full rules on our website. And I swear we won't disappoint. No. Actually, we probably will. No, I'm kidding. No, you, no this has really, this has yeah. been a lot of fun. We've done it a couple times, and it's always great to meet the fans in, like, the intimate setting like that. We don't think we have fans. We just have people who know us and people we want to get to meet. And people who love you. And final question before we go to break. Wedding song. Do you have one? Yes. Sarah McLaughlin. Really? Love is better than chocolate milk. How about